It is 6.53 on this Monday morning and time for news to go. It's all the news you need as you head out the door today. And let's start it out with meteorologist Brittany Bell and weather first. We are getting out to a cool start with temperatures in the 50s right now. Over to the maps, it is currently 55 degrees in Jackson, the same in Lexington and down to 53 in Vicksburg. We'll see sunny skies today heating up to a high of 89 degrees. I have a final look at your seven-day forecast coming up. Well, Jackson police are on the lookout for a man accused of shooting several people at a block party. Those shots rang out late Friday night on Lorenz Street. The get-together was for Jackson State's homecoming week. Six people were shot, several others hurt when the crowd started running. Witnesses say there was an argument before the shooting. If you have any information, please call Crime Stoppers. And Canton police say someone opened fire in the middle of a street there, hitting three people. Officers say they are searching for LeVar Williams. Paramedics rushed three victims to the hospital. Doctors say they are in stable condition. Well, a three-year-old is in critical condition after being hit by a car in Warren County. It happened on Highway 80 at Ironwood Drive around 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Witnesses say the boy was running after a ball when he stepped out in front of that car. The driver is not facing any charges. Well, Marcus has our World Series highlights as the Cubs stay alive in Game 5. Yeah, they did, Aaron. And, you know, a lot of Cub fans thought they would have to wait at least 72 years to get their first World Series win inside of Wrigley Field. But the Cubs were able to get it done last night and get that first World Series victory at Wrigley in 71 years. Jose Ramirez homered in the second inning to give Cleveland an early lead. But in the fourth, Chris Bryant's home run sparked a three-run burst to give the Cubs a lead a lead they would not give back final score in this game chicago wins three to two game six will be tuesday from cleveland and uh if the cleveland indians are to win that game tuesday the indians will go on to win the series but if chicago can win they'll force a game seven which would be on wednesday for it all all right Thanks so much, Marcus. Well, the city of Jackson is giving people a safe place to celebrate Halloween. A trunk or treat and fall festival will be held at the Jackson Police Training Academy. You can wear a costume or come just as you are. There will be prizes, space jumps, and of course candy. It costs a dollar to get in the doors and everyone will leave with a Halloween treat bag. Again, it's at the Jackson Police Training Academy from 4 to 8. Well, the FBI has a warrant to search new emails that could be pertinent to Hillary Clinton's server. Yeah, 16 WAPT's Nicole Killian is live in our Washington newsroom with details and reaction. Nicole. Hey, good morning to you, Aaron. And Hillary Clinton wants to get back on message. So in a campaign uh, message.